handoff is to Zach Line. He's going left, makes one man miss, makes two man miss! Touchdown, SMU! This week on the Stampede, the voice of the Mustangs, Rich Phillips. Calling football games, it's fun. It's what I love to do. Let's go, Mustangs! An all-access pass to the Tulsa game. And Senior Day on the Hilltop. Lit. Holman to the right, alone on the short side. Gilbert looks left, fires that way. It's going to be caught by uh, Derek Thompson. Breaks the tackle, the Go. 20, the 10, dives for the pylon! Touchdown, SMU! Since 2001, the voice of the Mustangs has been Rich Phillips. It was a huge chance for me, I think, in 2001 when I got this, and I've looked at it that way every day since I got it. It's been a terrific 12 years, and I'd like to have 12 more, if possible, or even more than that. Phillips graduated from the University of North Texas with a degree in broadcasting. His day job is at radio station KTCK, better known as The Ticket. Phillips works the Dunham and Miller Show, providing three sports updates an hour. He also serves as the station's assistant program director. But it is his work on the hilltop that fires his passion. Fires down the middle of the field, caught Jeremy Johnson at the 15, running right to the 10. He'll be dragged down from behind at the Southern Miss four-yard line and pick up a 33. Calling football, that's that's what I do. I feel like I have my other job as a way to pay mortgage and bills and things like that. But calling football games, it's fun. It's what I love to do. And there's never been a day that I totally dread coming to the stadium. Southern Miss loading the line with six men, and they go again on that same keeper right side. Garrett Gilbert shakes a tackle 30, 25, 20. Big block, Austin Fuller to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, SMU! In his 12 seasons at the mic, Phillips has seen both sides of Mustangs football, the hangover of the death penalty and the resurgence June Jones brought to SMU. Obviously the best memory I've had here was uh, in 2009, 45 to 10, SMU over Nevada and Hawaii Bowl. I remember talking to June Jones during the post game when he was down on the field before that trophy presentation and John Hampton, who does the games with me and used to play here as well, we both told him this is the greatest moment you've given us with SMU football was right there because there'd been so many down times. I'd been through a winless season here. I've been through two seasons with one win each. And to go to a bowl game and put on a whipping like that on national TV, that was the number one moment. Handoff is to Zach Line. He's going left, makes one man miss, makes two man miss. Touchdown, SMU. At the end of the day, Phillips is a pro's pro spending hours in preparation for each week's game. But he's also a fan, living out a childhood dream every time he calls a game. To me, football is fun, whether it's college or pro, it's just fun. And getting to come here and talk about it and be passionate about it on a week-to-week -week basis, that's fun right there in and of itself. It is a cool, crisp Thanksgiving morning, and the Mustangs are practicing at Ford Stadium. Ah! A season that began in the August heat is winding rapidly to a close. SMU's record is five and six. The team desperately needs one more win to earn bowl eligibility for a school record fourth consecutive year. Go. Good job, Bo. Way to work. That's it, Johnny. Way to work. Finish all the way through Spence so he can do his tackle drill on you. This week, the Mustangs will host the Tulsa Golden Hurricane, nine and two on the season and undefeated in Conference USA. We gotta go in and we gotta stop the run game first. Um, if we can do that, we'll have a lot of success against them. We gotta get ourselves into manageable second and third downs and force them to throw football. Well, you gotta do the things that you have done to win games at home. You gotta play uh, good on offense, don't turn the ball over, and we gotta take the ball all the way on defense and special teams and make some plays. It's about us. If we go out and execute, we feel like we're going to be able to have some success. Our defense has a great game plan going into the game. Obviously, they have a, they have a good offense, and um, we're just excited about the challenge. On Saturday, 20 SMU seniors will take the field at Ford Stadium for the final time. With a victory, the season continues. With a loss, the ponies go home.
Well, this is uh, the first uh, group that, that I recruited. All these guys have uh, you know, done something nobody's done before, three bowls in a row, and we want to do it four and send them out right. Coach Jones brought in a lot of players from high school that knew how to win and expected to win. So we came in, we felt like, and was able to um, help this team uh, get to a bowl game. Man. And now it's been three straight bowl games, and we're hoping to get to our fourth. We try to preach and uh, constantly stress to play every game like it's your last one, play every play like it's your last play, like it could be your last one. So the reality is this one is actually going to be the last one here at SMU. So um, last time we'll be able to run out of here, run out of the tunnel at Ford Stadium. So it should be a great time, and uh, we want to make it a better time by, by winning the game. Next up, a must-win game for the Ponies. Stay with us as the Stampede continues. So they go with a quarterback draw straight up the gut, 35, to the 40, to the 50, Gilbert down to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, touchdown, 74 yards on the draw. That's awesome. Game day on the hilltop. Breakfast on the boulevard. <laughs> SMU hosts CUSA West leader Tulsa on national television. On paper, the 9-2 Golden Hurricane looked to be a heavy favorite. But the Mustangs are tough to beat at home. Since the start of the 2009 season, SMU is 14-1 in league play in the friendly confines of Gerald J. Ford Stadium. This is a contest freighted with drama. For 20 seniors, this is their last home game. But with a win, the Mustangs will be bowl eligible for a school record fourth consecutive year. This has been a great senior group here for June. This is the group that really helped put them back on the map. You look at guys like Zach Line at running back, who four years ago, I don't think a lot was expected of him, and obviously he's exceeded everyone's expectation. But Margus Hunt, a guy who's never played football before he started four years ago, who looks like he's going to be an NFL player. At linebacker with guys like Taylor Reed and Ja'Gary Davis, they've really been the heart and soul of the defense and of this team. This is a, a really good group of seniors that they're looking to send out here today. This is also SMU's last game in CUSA, as the Ponies will move to the Big East in 2013. All right, boys, hey, listen up, everyone today, Play your best, do your assignment, trust your teammates. We do that, we're unstoppable. We haven't played our best game as a team yet. Let's come out and play today. Let's play with emotion. Let's do it for the other guy. All right, boys, listen up. One last time in the Ford. Repeat after me. I am only one. I am only one. But I am someone. But I am someone. I can't do everything. I can't do everything. But I can do something. But I can do something. And that which I can't do. And that which I can't do. I must do. I must do. And by the grace of God. By the grace of God. I will do. I will do. I believe. I believe. I am someone. I am someone. Bring it up, boys. Bring it up, boys. Turn it up, turn it up. Go. Hey, turn it up on three. One, two, three. Turn it up! Hey, guys. Listen up. This is everything, all right? This is what we play the game for. These are the type of games that we play the game for. Can't tell you how many times I've been in this situation. And the way you win is you just keep going and going and going. It's going to be a dog fight. We know that. We've been in a bunch of those. Let's finish it off. We're 14 and one here. Finish off 15 and one, and let's get to Honolulu. One of the keys to victory for SMU is a fast start. Over the last two years, the Mustangs are 13 and 0 when they score first. With Tulsa facing 4th and 19 at their own 42, Ja'Garrett Davis, playing in his school record 51st game, comes up big. So Way stands at his 27 to kick this one away. It's blocked by the Mustangs! They got a shot for a touchdown here. It's going to be picked up and falling down at the two-yard line is Derek Longoria for SMU. They'll be at the three. Derek Longoria, A, first was to secure the ball but he had about 20 yards and, and nothing but red jerseys around him. He, he could have scooped that thing and just walked backwards into the end zone. SMU ball, first and goal at the three. 
Gilbert out of the shotgun, gives it to Zach Lyon off the right edge, runs over a defender, touchdown SMU! Best play call they probably could have made is to give it to Zach Lyon for his 44th career touchdown. This season, SMU has posted 25 takeaways at home. On Tulsa's next possession, Jagera Davis adds to the total. And Green wants to hand it off, pulls it back in the last minute. The ball's loose on the ground. SMU's picked it up, and I believe the fumble recovery will go to Jagera Davis. The Mustangs have the ball in Tulsa territory at the 30. I mean, it's your last game at home. Jagera Davis, go ahead and have you a big-time game. Go ahead and block you a kick, recover a fumble three plays later. SMU's got a chance the 31-yard line to, to get another touchdown and, and take it to a Tulsa team that just doesn't seem like they're awake yet. Three plays later, it's again first and goal at the three. Hand off Zach line coming right, turns the corner at the two. He's upended at the goal line, but he's in. Touchdown, SMU. Zach line second touchdown run today. 45th of his career, which is second in school history. He's only two behind Eric Dickerson now. So far in the game, Jagera Davis has a blocked punt and a fumble recovery. On Tulsa's next possession, he completes a remarkable hat trick. Green, pressure from Hunt, throws it near side, it's intercepted, and it's Jagera Davis! He has a blocked punt, a fumble recovery, and a pick! He just wants to make sure you remember who he is when he's gone. I will. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. The Mustangs capitalize on the takeaway as Garrett Gilbert finds Derek Thompson for six. Got a lob down the left side. It's caught Derek Thompson at the two. Falls forward. Touchdown, SMU. Derek Thompson driven down to the turf right as he catches the football, but he falls across the goal line, and the Mustangs are up 20 to nothing. We would like to salute SMU Mustangs hey, number 48, Zach Lye from Oxford, Michigan. Trailing by three touchdowns, Tulsa responds with a 12-play, 75-yard drive for a score. The extra point is missed. Pushed around that series, man. We got pushed around. Come on now. Come on now. And Garrett Gilbert responds with a play of the game. Six men on the line of scrimmage for Tulsa. They go with a quarterback draw straight up the gut. 35 to the 40 to the 50. Gilbert down to the 40 to the 30 to the 20 to the 10. Touchdown. 74 yards on the draw. That's awesome. That is so awesome. <laughs> get nothing but man coverage. They're gonna force SMU to hit a pass play and they bring a little bit of pressure on the edge and the entire middle of the field had parted. And I don't know if it was a call to sneak or Garrett Gilbert just knew what the coverage was and just figured I could pick up 10 or 12 yards. And then once he got to 10 or 12 yards, in the entire field ahead of him and he outran defenders. At the half, SMU 28, Tulsa six. We're gonna have to go four wides and uh, run the ball a little bit too with a quick draw and the Tampa's okay. We'll get a touchdown down there too on the uh, on the all post. Uh, we'll just keep running that deal because uh, it, w it would have been a stand up touchdown if I'd called it on the one Zach scored on. It would have been. I mean, nobody would have even covered the guy. Good job so far. Great job on the turnovers. We just got to continue to do that. They're gonna make you play that run heavy and then they'll get you with play action and then they'll come into those other groups. Keep uh, pounding that thing out of there, and we'll come out of this thing all right. They cannot beat us if they don't score again. Defense, everybody be on, be on the game. Be there for each other. Do it for each other right now, okay? Play together. Fight together. We came too far to get here. We're 14-1. and one. We're getting out of here 15-1. and one. one, two, three. Mustangs! I got Mr. Yeah. Sterling. When we come back, some serious second half drama as the stampede rolls on.
The first half of the Tulsa game is arguably the best football the Mustangs have played all year. Great special teams play. Ball hawking defense. Opportunistic offense. It all adds up to a 28 to 6 lead with 30 minutes to go. And the Mustangs quickly add to their advantage. Quarterback Garrett Gilbert engineers a 14 play 95 yard drive capped by a 10 yard Zach line scoring run. And handoff is to Zach line coming left to the 10 to the five his third touchdown today. Zach line from 10 yards out the Mustangs make it 34 to six. It is his third TD of the game, the 46th of his amazing career. With the Mustangs leading by 29 points, the game appears over. But Tulsa mounts a furious comeback. With time for one more play, the score is SMU 35, Tulsa 27. Golden Hurricane ball at the Mustangs 35. There are three Mustang defenders at the five yard line and four more are beyond the 20. Green rolling to his right. He's going to fire it looking left side or right side of the end zone. It's up into the air. It's, it's caught, caught it. by James, but he's out of the end zone at the one. Unbelievable. He caught it, but he was at the one when he came down with it. And SMU is going to win it 35 to 27. Game over, SMU victory. The seniors go out with a big win, and the Mustangs are once again going bowling. All right, guys, grab a knee. Seniors, great freaking win. Great job hanging in against everything, man. Got guys laying on the field doing everything. The Heavenly Father was looking out after all of us today. So it's a blessing to be able to go four in a row. Let's hear it, four in a row. Great job, seniors. Great job. Great job. Hey, uh, uh, I got the call that we are going to Hawaii. So yeah. All right. All right, let's grab a hand. Grab a hand. Heavenly yeah. Father, thank you for this game. Thank you for this great group of young men. And uh, thank you for letting them honor you and you honoring them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Yeah. Hey. Well, it's obviously a great feeling, you know, to be able to uh, to be able to hold on to it, to hold on, win a game like that. Obviously, very close, um, but uh, it's a great feeling to get that last win for the seniors. It's very good to pull this one out. Much, much rather be going to Hawaii on December 24th and be back home doing nothing. So, um, this is a huge game. Feels great. We're four in a row, and uh, you know we have ups and downs this season, and we're going to Hawaii. So, I mean, I wouldn't want to finish it any other way. The game is just magnitude on the line. You know, we came out. The pressure was on, and we got the W. Words can't explain how I'm feeling right now, how me and the team feeling. Been a hard fall journey we've been on this season, up and down. We have been some highs, some lows, but we finally got the, got the six win. Going bowling for the fourth straight year, going back to Hawaii, hopefully. So I'm happy. I can't. I'm, I mean, I'm speechless for the most part, but I'm, I'm definitely happy. A great way to go out as seniors. Uh, we 15 and one conference game at home, man. So we'll take it. And it's, it's a great day, man. And now we get to celebrate it with our families on this senior day. When we come back, June Jones honors his seniors. It is senior day on the hilltop, a chance to honor 20 young men who rewrote the history of SMU football. They came to a program reeling from back to back one in 11 seasons. And in four years, they went 29 and 23. They were 19 and seven at home, earned four bowl invitations and shared a CUSA West title. More importantly, they changed a culture and brought pride back to Mustang football. Some of their names are familiar. Hand off Zach Line has a hold to the 20, bouncing, yeah. running backwards to the 15, makes a tackle to the 10, to the 5, touchdown SMU! 
Zach Line rushed for 4,114 yards, second best in SMU history, trailing only Eric Dickerson. Gilbert is looking left, steps up in the pocket. He's going to loft this one. Corner of the end zone, caught! Touchdown, SMU! Darius Johnson had 13 100 yard games and 229 career receptions. Blake McJunkin came back from injury to anchor the offensive line. Taylor Reed with pressure. Taylor Reed with a sack back at the 14 yard line. Taylor Reed finished with 391 tackles, 249 of them solos. They're setting up a screen, but it's being covered. Well, and it's intercepted. It's thrown to Garrett Davis, going left to the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown! To Garrett Davis posted four picks, four fumble recoveries, and 18 and a half sacks. And it's blocked by Big Marcus Hunt. Marcus Hunt set an NCAA record with 10 blocked field goals and developed into an outstanding defensive lineman. Others are not as well known, but made important contributions. Long snapper Mark Vusen played in 52 games, a distinction he shares with Jagera Davis and Margus Hunt. And Minden hands it off on an end around and right there to make the stop up front, Aaron Davis. Aaron Davis played special teams and defensive line with passion and pride, and his teammates will long remember his pregame chants. Fortunately for the seniors and the rest of the Mustangs, the season isn't over. There's more football to play. SMU is going bowling for the fourth straight year. I'm excited for the seniors uh, to get out with the win last home game. You know, they're 15 and one the last four years here in conference games at home, and that's a pretty good number. It hadn't been an easy season. I mean, we played a lot of good football teams. We played a team, and you know, two teams that knocked off the number one team in the country. So it's going to be good to go to a bowl game, relax a little bit, and, and have some fun, and get ready to play another game.